This is me with my radial telescope, uh, which you can see behind me, uh, and it's pointing at the moon. Uh, and if I move round, uh, and I'll just move the, the viewer so I can see what I'm You can see there's a moon up there. Uh, I'm moving round, you can see the, the radial telescope. And it's a small, like a small satellite dish. Uh, and here we can see, I've got the receiver. Uh, and you can see the analogue scale on it. The, the, the needle is, the needle is, just get this in focus, is just after the, the, the 10 position on this dial. Uh, and this normal has to be plugged in, but what I've got here, the little black box, is a battery box which has eight uh, AA batteries because the radio telescope needs 12 volts to operate. Uh, you normally have to plug it into the mains. Uh, and you can see there it's quite very simple, but there it's given a reading. And if I move the, the dish at, and point it at the trees, it gets the heat off the trees. Uh, and what then happens is that the needle would then move. I have to do a lot of shooting around with it to try to get that tuned. And roughly when I point this out into the galaxy and put it straight up into space or uh, away from the moon, I would get a reading of about 20 on the dial. And so what we are seeing here is reflected solar radiation from the sun bounced off the lunar surface. Uh, and you see that the, the little radio receiver is about the size of a, a free view box. It's got two buttons on the front. There's a red power button and there's a fine tuning button. And you can see that there's two sockets on the front uh, and these are for connecting up to a computer. And that's the, the next stage, we can take the signal out and I have a, a, a digital, analogue to digital converter that will then convert the signal from the radio telescope into a digital signal uh, and using software on the computer we can then see what that, that graph is, it'll go like a kind of zigzag line. Uh, and I need to use my laptop, but the battery is not working, so I have sent away and I'm waiting for a new battery to de be delivered uh, to try it out. So this is me uh, on the, I think this is May the 5th, uh, 2017, uh, and this is me using a radio telescope, a very simple radio telescope to look at the moon. So you can see there's the, the dish at the bottom pointing at the moon. So I don't know, maybe here's not really my little observing site, there's too many trees and maybe that might affect the signal uh, because it, it, it does pick up the, the kind of frequency, it will pick up water in the atmosphere and that will affect it, so unfortunately it's just like an optical telescope, it has to be clear, this doesn't, it doesn't work uh, in a cloudy sky. This is with the radio telescope here at uh, Waterbank at the community garden area.